Hi, this is Archana. Today I will take you all to online trading on Zerodha. How to trade online directly? You can come to tra Zerodha website. Directly you can come to trading login, or else you directly you can type in URL trade.zerodha.com. Give your ID and sign in. When you will sign in, first time it will ask you for the security email. You can provide your password here. After that, you can log in in the system. Then it will ask you two security questions, which will which will always ask you whenever you will log into any trading terminal of Zerodha. So when will it come here? You need to come to the trade for doing the trade. Come to the option Z5, which we are going to explain you today. This is a a web version where you can do the trade easily. So here you can see uh, whenever you want to create a market watch. First of all, you just need to come to the create a market watch. When you create, it will come give some name. So you can give some name of your market watch. You can create it. Then you will create your exchange will show. And a four CDS and a CBSC, whatever it will show, you can just add it. Then you can add your commodity segment. Suppose we are going to buy something, so we will add it. It will ask for the expiry. Add to the market watch. When you do add to the market watch, your script will successfully add in market watch. You can see it. Your ABC market watch is showing one script here. So if you want to go for buy it, you just click on the buy button. A new pop-up screen will open that will show for the buy. How to buy? So here you can see all the details of crude oil market is going on. You can see the fluctuation in the market. This is your buy window. By default, it will show always buy. And exchange will show MCX. Order types by default always it will show limit. If you want to go for the buying on your own price, you can put your order here at what price you want to buy. If you want to buy at three thousand, not market price. You do not want to buy. You want to buy at some lesser price. You can give it here. Suppose you want to go on this price. In the limit, you can select limit. You can provide your price here. You can give. This is the validity day. That by default always it will be here. Product code you can select normal MIS or cover order. There are three kind of product code you can see in the product code type. So there is a normal. If you want to carry forward till the expiry date, MIS order in the sense you want to buy today and selling today only. That is MIS order margin intraday square off. This is cover order for you. Three kind of product code we are providing to you. You can use any of them. In order type, if you want to go for market price. Then you can select market. Then you cannot provide your price here. It cannot be select at uh, whatever is whatever will be the market price at that price itself. Your order will be placed. So you can select market. Next order you can see here it is showing SLL. What is the meaning of SLL? It is means stop loss limit. Or next here is the stop loss market. So you can select any of them also. SLL. If you give the SLL, you can you have to give one trigger price also. For stop loss, for stopping the stop loss, that is a kind of limit order where you are giving the stop loss. SLM is the kind of market order where you are providing a trigger price for stopping your loss. So both are the kind of uh, stop loss orders. And uh, whenever you want to place, uh, whenever you will submit the orders, when you do the submit button, click your transaction password will be asked to you. Okay, so you can click there and give the transaction password. And suppose if you are giving an aftermarket order, it is a AMO aftermarket order. You can select here. Market is not on. You can give your order for the uh, after 6:30 when market is off. 6:30 to morning 9 o'clock you can place your order for the equity segment. And after 12 o'clock you can place your order order for the M6 segment. So you can here you can see the details of crude oil. What is going on? What is highest price? What is average price? All what who all are the best five bidders who are buying who are selling? Those you can see here. So if you want to go for selling, you can click selling. The same pop-up screen will open. The color will be only change. So here everything will be the same. Limit market. Your order type will be the same. At what price you want to sell it? You can select that. Here, one thing you always keep in mind: whatever product code you have selected while buying the product, and the same product code you have to select while selling it. So, if you bought in MIS, you have to sell in MIS only. If you bought in cover order normal, you have to sell in normal. So, this is the one thing which you have to keep in always in mind. Okay. So, here we can see the limit option. If you want to, you will click on the limit. Your balance will show here whatever amount is there in your account. Holdings you can see in this positions and next here is your order book your trade book your position book whatever order you'll be placing it will show in your order book 
Hi. So this is order book, trade book, position book. You can see in the right side of your trading terminal. So in order book, what all you can see? What are order you will be placing? Whatever executed order will be there or pending order will be there. It will show in your order book. So if you want to modify it, if you want to cancel any pending order, you do not want to make it place. And then if you want to modify, suppose you have given in some price different, but it is not uh, executing. So you want to modify the price, you can come here, you can select your order, then you can click on the modify order, your order will be modified. So here you can cancel, if you want to cancel any particular order, you can select the script and you can cancel the order. If you are given the cover order, you want to exit that you can exit your cover order here all the things you can modify so next is your trade book where if you want to see the trade book click on plus sign whatever will be order which has been already executed so all the order will show in your trade book all the orders which has been executed you can see in order or your trade book it will show here you cannot do modification in this nothing change can be done so no options are there to do it next is your position book position book shows you that what is the position of your current uh, your order which are placing in the market are you in uh, profit or even loss you bought some product and now what is the uh, profit you had made on this particular script what uh, loss you had made you can see in this position book you are in loss or you are in profit suppose you have given a mis but you want to change in the end of the day that you want to make it cash and carry of your you want to make it normal so you can come here partial position conversion you can click there after clicking your script and you can change your position from mis to normal or else from mis to cmc you can then do it if you want to make it a square of the position whatever position you are in loss or profit while seeing that you can square off your position if you do the manual square off you can change the price and all everything then you can do a square off if you click on one click square off whatever price will be there at that time in market at the same price your product will be square off so this is the use of your position book so here you can see another kinds of uh, orders also that is basket order basket order in the sense uh, two to three uh, particular orders you can place at the same time that means if you want to buy something you can select your exchange what you want to buy you can select your product symbol and expiry date what expiry you want to buy then you can add to the market what you want to go for limit you want to go for market after that you can add it when you add it oh, sorry product code we need to go for you want to go for normal or what then you can add this product your quantity will be added next what you want to buy yourself you can add it suppose next you want to go for the selling what you want to sell commodity you want to sell at the same time what then you can select your you can select your commodity what you want to sell you can give the thing product you want to go select everything then just add it when you add it, it will come here, it will be added in your script. So you can see two kind of order we are going to place or else 3, to 4, 5, 6, you can give it here. So after giving all those things, you can just give your file name also if you want to provide anything. You can give it and just place the order. When you place the order, it will ask for your transaction password. You have to give your, your transaction password and uh, I'll give the transaction password. And place it when you place you can place the uh, transaction password sorry so it will be placed in your order book you can see that password this is a kind of basket order second order is a spread order spread order is you can see here from your uh, spread order entry you can do it three to four kind of buy sell buy sell buy in the spread order in the sense two leg three leg kind of order you can place you can do buy sell buy sell buy uh, uh, sell buy sell buy buy sell you can you can do anything of that so you can select your instrument what you want to go for and you can give at the same time you can submit your order this spread order is having a quality that will provide you margin benefit if you want to calculate how much benefit you want to you will be gaining it then you can go for calculating on the span calculator of zero tha and the basket order one thing you have to keep in mind that you are placing uh, five to six order at the same time that you should not think that these five to six order will give you only